Greetings YouTube, Kudis here, and let's continue our Sailor Mon campaign. Where we last left off, we're fighting Ayutaya to hopefully neuter him for good and run away with a lot of his valuable stuff. And we have friends in there that are trying to get rid of Dive yet, hopefully before he takes my stuff, though that is very unlikely. I need to core Tongu, I really need to core Tongu. And I know that what I want from Ayutaya will probably kill me, like just taking this, these three is a massive coalition. But I would like the rest of that state. But this coalition is... I mean, Ayutaya, Sipa, Tongu's a given. Can I, like, prevent Kale and Mong Mao from being in that list? Can I? Actually, Ava, do I have claims on all of you? Uh, now I do. Ava's a lost cause. Okay. First, we'll set one diplomat on automatic... Oh, we only have one working on automatic outreach country. He's doing our friend. So I was saying Kale needs to be improved out of a list, and Mong Mao is... Mong Mao is worthless. Do I have someone else? Is there someone else in the list that I can work on? Uh, Mong Nai, maybe. Mong Nai, perhaps. Where is Mong Nai? Your Hsenwi. You're Mong Nai. Uh, I might be able to, but I'm not sure. We're gonna try. We're gonna try to try. I also have a mission that's completed, apparently. High income. Apparently, right now, I have high income from... Uh, destroying Ayutaya completely totally. Let's keep occupying him. Let's keep seeing what we can do with this war. Daiviet is not actually part of the people who would coalition me, but he's also... Oh no, many poor separatists. I have to go deal with that. He's also not part of the... Wait, 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 wait. Is Lanjuan going to take this? I must prevent it. No! Damn it, guys! Wait, I am suddenly very limited. Okay, I can't do anything about that one, but I might be, I might be able to affect Filant Sulok. I really want this. Daiviet Dokshakla is unfortunate, but not necessarily surprising at this point. Alright. Oh, nice, he gave it to me. Safe. Okay. I don't care about any of the rest of that. Thank you, Husenui. Now, of course, this guy gets hit by a disease outbreak as he's sieging a level something fort. Um, I don't know where Ayutaya's army went. Oh, it's up there. It is surrounding Mong Kuang. Oh, Manipuri separatists are right now in Kale. That's actually really funny, because Kale might stop existing in favor of Manipur. Let's go deal with Dive yet, and I can't I still can't core this. My money is still Oh no, it's actually only two loans. Sure I'll marry you, John Poor. That's a really good queen. I'll hail the queen. She should rule. They might go sit on wait, that's also that's also Manipur. Manipur might just like pop out of Kale entirely. That would be hilarious. That would solve a lot of aggressive expansion problems. Okay, we'll stack wipe dive yet. I don't know where he's retreating to. I'm gonna assume he's retreating to that fort. Um, I really want peace dive yet out. But I'll see what I can do. Because that's the other thing too. I have to consider, do I want to take those three provinces that are really, really good? Or do I want to take these four provinces, which is a full state? Like North Tenasserim, which is almost 40 development worth of a state. Although this is worth way more. Frabang is... Oh, it's mine. I'm like, why is the flag different? It's because it's mine. This is an amazing state. I cannot... I cannot express enough just how amazing this state is. But North Tenasserim allows me to invade Ligor. Which is also something that's very interesting to me. Um... So yes, I don't know what I want to do. Ideally, I'd take both, but I'm pretty sure I would die in my own coalition juice if I was to do that. It would be bloody, and it would be, like, disastrous, and uh, let's not do that. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll unseat myself. I get it. Come on, guys. Take the damn sieges. Get to it. Chop, chop. How likely are my allies to quit? Not very, and Daiviet is also not likely to quit right now. Even though I trounced his army pretty hard. 
And of course now I'm trying to base race Ayutthaya, and I can court on Goo! Let's score it! And my poor money is a distant memory of a calm summer day. Okay, dive yet? I have war score against you now. Can I piece you out? 33% war score. What can I get from you for that? I can't even get war reparations. I'm not much in a hurry to piece out anyway, so... Um, is Kale maxed out? Kale's not maxed out. Kale can even go much higher. Let's look again at the list of what we were going to upset. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Kale and Mong Mao are still part of the list. What is this? This is Mong Mao, who's actually getting... Wait, Mong Mao? Apparently it's Mong Mao. So I can totally prevent Kale and Mong Mao from joining. Ava's part of the coalition. Tongu is... Probably going to die, maybe. Sipao can be prevented from joining. And then I would not have a coalition. I like this. I must prevent a coalition at all costs. And you guys need to finish sieging this damn province. Yes, free war taxes. Please continue. They spare the economy somewhat. That is all I can do. Okay. Come on, take the fort. Come on, Mong Kwang. Take the fort. Take the fort. Senui is uh, very happy with me, which is good. Ayutthaya is winning at the race. No! Oh, oh, dive yet, dive yet, can I peace out, dive yet? I'd need a diplomat for that. Let's recall the guy in his zippo. And, um, sue for peace. Oh, now we have 74% war score. Okay, war reparations. Give me all your ducats. And, uh, no, keep your alliance with, uh, sure. Keep your vassals in you. Actually, I want you to keep, to stay strong. Um... Tonkin would split you in half, but it's not very useful. The thing is, anything I release out of Dive yet will just be eaten by Lanzhang anyway, and I don't want that. So you know what? No, keep your... Uh, keep your stuff and uh, make me rich and go away. Okay. Now. Ayutthaya. If I look at this, that's not so bad. I get a coalition that includes... Five people, of which two of them I'm currently working on friending. I have a truce with Tongu, and I will have a truce with Ayutthaya, so it will not be able to form for a while. Thing is, can I take this province as well? Yes, can I take that one? Now that adds Mongnai and uh, Sipao. Yeah, so I can take one of them. I can take Fechabudi for now. That is safe. It's not ideal, but it is safe. Well, I guess I can give uh, Urat to Lanzhang, that'll make him happy. And Ayutthaya shall give me... So many ducats. Alright! We'll fix our economy. We'll chunk him. Marvelous. Okay. Now, Ligor is... Not actually angry with us, because he's not the right religion. I have gained a ton of provinces. And, uh... Let's go and see to myself. Ayutthaya no longer considers me a rival, because I have destroyed him. But Ava wants a rivalry, Ava will have the rivalry. It is all his. Are you actually... No, you're... why are you not on sieging? Damn it. Also, Kale did not pop out of uh, Bengal, and Ayutthaya are no longer valid rivals. And now I can totally repay my loans. I still have one. If I have it my way, not for long. Mudball all forts, except for this one. Unfortunately, clicking that button was enough to uh, get rid of the garrison. Uh, drop army maintenance to practically nothing. Then we'll repay our final loan. And uh, we'll slowly work our way at coring all of this stuff. I don't actually want to kick it for unrest. Well, this one I can for now. 
but uh, I don't actually want to kick it for unrest because I suspect that uh, I'll want the provinces to be worth something when I'm done coring them. Like, damn, look at that Ayutthaya. Look at that uh, delicious... Why is this one more expensive? Why is Tongu more expensive than Ayutthaya? Have claim... Is territory... But it's not a territory. Is it? Did I not state Frabang? Apparently I didn't state it. I thought I did. Oops. Oh well. That explains why it's cheaper. Because I know Tongu is a state. Because I stated it from Prome. Ligor declared war on Ayutthaya. Well, that's actually interesting. I was after these three provinces to finish my state, but if Ligor is going to eat them, then I can eat Ligor and be fine. Who is Ligor allied to anyway? Pasai and Siak. Khmer declared war on Ayutthaya, so I think Ayutthaya is about to stop existing. Not a bad thing. That'll actually reduce my coalition size by one. I can get centralized bureaucracy to make my autonomy go down faster and thus fix my economy faster. I still want to core all this stuff, but... Uh... Well, you know what, right now I'll just kick all of the unrest, because... I don't want to have to fight rebels. It's bad for the economy, but... Uh... For now, too bad. Screw our own economy. Khmer is winning his occupations. Ligor is winning his occupations as well, but Ayutai is about to have 8 troops. 8 troops is probably enough to deal with uh, Khmer. Um, let's get a mercantilism, it helps money, right? How much money do I need to repay my final loan? 111 ducats. Do I have merchants? I have merchants. I can't get money from my merchants for another about 6 months, a little less than that. Excellent. And then I wish to core all this stuff. A cleansing is required, which adds unrest and makes my monks unhappy, but lower a lot of autonomy in Mroku. Did I state that? I did state it. That would make the province worth a lot. The unrest is a problem. A lot of it will go away. Seek the blessing of the monks, which adds autonomy. Um, what's my karma, though? My karma is absolutely non-existent, so I'd say a cleansing is required. And then Meraki was suddenly worth a lot, but it has a bit of unrest. Though as I core stuff, the unrest will disappear. As my war exhaustion decays, the unrest will also disappear. Is my focus set to admin? My focus is still set to military. Although right now it makes sense because I'm unlocking defensive ideas. These are indeed hard times, game. That is indeed how this works. I need 110 ducats. Oh, Khmer actually has 7 troops. Khmer is able to stand on his own. Not bad. I think Ayutai is about to stop existing. I for one welcome this turn of events. Tripuran Separatists. That's not what I just conquered. That is not what I just conquered at all. Um... Do I have advisors right now? I don't have any advisors, which helps. Ooh, I have also just. That also helps stability. That is excellent. Let's bring you down to Sandaway. Ava is allied with Tongu and Bengal. Interesting. You're allied to Malwa, which is dangerous. I really want to betray Orissa, but right now I can't afford to. Kick, uh, I can kick. I can core Ayutthaya, which is great. Uh, Tripuran separatists in Chakla. Can I do something about that? Let's just kick the damn province. It's not fight rebels. It's not worth fighting rebels on this damn fort. Let's take care of the Tripurans and then the Ayutthayans. They're massive. But if I can prevent them from spawning, they will not spawn for much, much longer. I just need to core all this stuff and I'll be fine. I can name new rivals, because I've exceeded other rivals. I could rival Dive yet. That's not a bad idea. Let's recall Kale. Um, and also, I don't want to release a vassal. I want to name new rivals. 
Nanhong and Orisa are my friends. Pasai, however, is an option. Ayutaya is currently fully sieged. If Ligor can be satisfied with his half, Khmer will eat the other half, and then Ayutaya will be full annexed. And that'll be that for my coalition. Hmm. I could even release Ayutaya as a vassal, but I don't actually want to do that. Um, get an idea. I can also take up in Diplo. Which is amazing for my, um, stability. And by stability I mean unbalanced research, therefore economy. I can repay a loan. I no longer have any loans. I can further mob all my armies. Um... Ayutayans are still a thing. We have lost conquest Ayutaya, but we've gained conquest. Oh, Ayutaya retains Ratchaburi. Pasai has rivaled me. You are allied to Pasai, which is annoying. As long as Lanjong doesn't randomly decide to rival me, he has a rival slot, and I know I'm a valid rival for him. Um, that would suck, because I would lose my best friend. He's so useful at punching things. I can just throw him at things and be like, yes, bro. And also, he's a tributary of Ming, so I can't even attack him. Eh. Uh, you're also a tributary of Ming. You're a tributary state of Ava, which is not nearly as prestigious. You're a tributary of Ava, which is just amusing to me, because Ava is weak compared to you. Kale is allied with Tongu and Senwi. Sipao is a tributary of Ava. I really want to attack Ava. Would like to Tongu and Bengal. Ooh, this is what Kin means. Yes, indeed. This is indeed what Kin's means. Uh, Fitzalunok shall be cord. And then Naktong Tung Yai. Nakhon Tung Yai. Oh, the Emperor has been forced to revoke the reform called of Race Reform. Whoa. Wait, why am I aware of this? Who's the Empire? Show him, boys! Yeah, I don't even see the Empire, but apparently whoever the Empire is right now, whoever the Emperor is right now, lost the reform. Why the hell? But okay. Um, I have five friends, which is a great number. Ayutthaya still lives with only two provinces. Um, let's see. I can help the man recover for 21 ducats. This will give me karma and prestige. But costs me ducats. So I can gain karma and gain some prestige. A true king holds no grudges. Uh, I don't want money, I want karma right now. We need to up those rookie numbers. That karma number is not high enough. Let's get some more influence on outraged countries. I am no longer gaining innovativeness bonus from being ahead of time because my defensive ideas have delayed me in military tech, but that is acceptable. I have a merchant that's not doing anything. What's my, my trade note is Bengal. I am throwing the trade from Burma there and the trade from Malacca there. I can probably trade it. Well, there's all... Uh, no, it's just... Yeah, okay. Let's, let's transfer some more trade from... Uh, from here. Now we are uh, transferring all the trade. All of it to Bengal. Uh, knowledge sharing from Ava, Wondos. Oh, they're sharing my Renaissance now. Look at these guys being so far behind. Uh, regimental system, although in eight years I will need to develop another institution, which is unfortunate. Also, eating Ayutthaya deeply increased my pie chart towards uh, Buddhism. Um, if I throw a missionary here, it's still Bengali separatists. Uh, lose 10 legitimacy, sure. That's unfortunate. What about here? It won't tell me anything. Hmm. Yeah, any other province that could revolt itself? It could rebel? It's still Bengalese. 
it spawned Hindu zealots, I might just let them rampage for a while. And hide in like Lanzhang or something. Because that would be that would help my situation a lot. Let's go uh Nakon Tong Yai. And Fetcha Buri shall be uh, its own thing. Ah, I just like your light to pass I. I truly dislike it. I also dislike that they've left Ayutthaya live. But wait, I should get a claim on this thing. Let's build a claim on it. Um. Okay. Let's get our claim on Ayutthaya. While we wait on uh, coring the final province and also ideas. Manpower is a good thing. Manpower is a good point. My aggressive expansion is my true limiting factor right now. I have a lot of aggressive expansion in Southeast Asia. I have made a lot of Indochina angry. But... Ligor is an exception. I have a claim on Ligor, and Ligor is Sunni, so if I attack him, no one will care. I wish I could spawn Hindu zealots. I guess the separatism has to decay further. Maybe when there's no separatism, it'll be uh, the right kind. Because if we can get Hindu zealots to spawn, we can also just not pay for the missionaries. Let the zealots spawn and let them go crazy in our country. And then force convert ourselves this way. That would solve a lot of problems. Because Hindu is a much better religion than Buddhist, because I don't have to care about all these karma events, which are just bad. Realistically, that karma mechanic is really not good. I will always want to be at war, and therefore my karma will always be pushed towards minus 100. I can't attack Bengal. Can I attack Ava? Ava's allied to Ayutthaya now. Tongu and Bengal. Uh, I need my aggressive expansion to decay just enough that I can attack these guys. And then eat some. Ava I really want to eat. At least these two provinces for sure. But the rest of Ava is also nice. Tongu and Hisanui. Hmm. Tongu, Hisanui, and... Ava is not too difficult to fight, I don't think. Where's my king? My king is very good right now, and I'm making decent money. I should be hiring dudes. Let's convert some of our money into points. You'll repay for yourself. You will help with inflation, which is currently not that high, but hey, if I can get it to shrink... It's a good thing. Uh, I don't want to quarantine the port. I'll just get hit by the other bad event later. At least I won't spend admin points. Spending admin points is the devil. I don't care about that part of Cambodia nearly as much as I care about Hachaburi. Uh, even though this place is... Uh, pay the human sacrifice, lose ducats, abandon the project, lose prestige, or lose some karma. I can afford the money right now. Sure, gain some karma. Ah. Our king is now righteous, which is good. That's the sound of a core finishing. I like that sound. Um, where are we? We're at 31 over extension still. How is the unrest with the Ayutthayans? Oh wow, it's practically non-existent. The next time a core finishes, the Ayutthayans will be perfectly pacified. That's what I like to see. Uh, I can get a claim. Oh, I get a I get a free claim on Kale. Hell's yeah. It's unfortunate because now he's part of the things that can coalition me. But uh, let's keep befriending him. Can I vassalize him? No. Of course not. I'm not strong enough. Um, but yeah, definitely I have to be careful about how aggressively I expand. Also, Assam is a thing, and I have a claim on it. And you're like to Orissa, which is kind of annoying. 
I can tell you I embraced the Renaissance. I want to congratulate you, but you know, I got that first, so. Whatevs. Uh, none of these are farmlands in my home state, so I will have to use Prome or Tongu to develop it. I can lose uh, I can lose a stability gain mechanism or fire both of my guys and gain 400 points. I mean, I've always been saying I should convert ducats into points. That's what I just did. Let's see what else we get. Let's recall Kale cuz I don't care right now. Got a missionary strength guy that I don't care about. And hired a prestige guy. Oh, oh yes. Yes, by all means, improve relations, and yes, let's get the prestige guy while we're at it. Okay, excellent. This king does not have the best of stats, but he's just and righteous. So he is like a paragon of ruler kind, in that sense. If I attack Ligor, who is Sunni, I can only call Lanjong. I cannot call any of my other friends, mostly because of distant war. That's Garbo. What the hell is the use of friends if I can't use them when it counts? I hate that Bengal is allied to Malua. Oh, Malua is uh, having a bad day. Malua is having a bad day. I can call Orissa in this. This would let me fight Ava without having to deal with uh, anything else. Hmm. That, to me, is an opportunity. And Malwa, mostly it's because he's occupied, so if I wait too long, that war will end. So I should not uh, diddly-daddle. Let's get the war on the way. There's some expansion of the aggressive kind to be had. I'll just let Orissa fight Bengal. Worst case, I won't give him anything. Oh good, Ava's going up north. That's a really nasty general, though. Damn, that's a nasty general. Wait, was my fort at zero? It was not, but barely. Okay. Let's, uh, um... Let's go over here. I'm gonna ignore Ava for now. I'm gonna try to block Orissa entirely. If I can take these three provinces... I won't have to give him anything. So that's gonna be my goal. I'm gonna try to block him. And Ava's gonna do whatever he wants. And I'm not gonna care, because Orissa's gonna come and beat them down later. Or at least I hope. Orissa is also allied with essentially garbage, so he's not protected if Bahmanis decides to go for him. VJ is having a bad day. Such as the way of the loser in uh, demand a retrial with other lawyers or oh, sure, retrial with other lawyers. I like for my karma to go up. Not that it's going to go up much because I will annex land. Okay. I have to detach all of the sieges. Because otherwise. I have to be mindful of where that 10 stack is going. Wherever you go, I will not let it happen. Okay. Alright, sure, go do whatever you want. Orissa is uh, triumphing on that siege really violently. It's impressive how hard he's going at it. My capital is getting sieged by Ava, but that's not too much of a concern. Do I attack this guy? I'll try to attack this guy. I'll try to fight him. Though he has a tech on me, I have my defensive ideas that are accounting for more than the difference. There we go. I'm pretty sure if I stack wipe him, that's going to be... Monsta, there we go. Let's go up here. Can I prevent him from spawning anything at all? I don't think I'll be able to. But Orissa might be able to. Yes! Okay. Idea. Cheaper army. 
done. Now I will not need to give Orissa anything. Because I didn't promise him any land, I called him on favors. And I've apparently reached the end of the episode. So for now, I'll thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time where we'll engage Ava in full force. Hopefully with Orissa's assistance. And uh, run away with a bunch of free land. See you guys next time.